The residents of this Gurung village in Dhading district are gathering to discuss forest related issues. Such activities have become a regular feature of village life here since the users groups began preserving the local forest. Nowadays, the use and management of the local forest has become the primary agenda for discussion amongst the villagers. The government nationalized all the private and community managed forests in 1956. This nationalization of forests triggered a major increase in the rate and severity of deforestation. The then feudal and landlords registered forest lands in their names. And the common people too encroached upon the forest lands to cultivate lands for their agricultural subsistence needs. The continuing deforestation, flooding and landslides continued into the 1970s with harsh effects on the fragile human and natural landscapes. Experts even cautioned that if the then pace of deforestation were not checked, Nepal would turn into a desert by the year 2000. Analysis made on the basis of the phenomena of deforestation, flooding and landslides drew the international environmental and development attention. Nepal became a center of international concern and was at the pinnacle of publicity. Forty years ago, forests covered 45% of the total area of Nepal. Since then, the forest area and quality began to shrink. During the past four decades, about 15% of Nepal's forest have been turned into either farmland, bare land or land just covered with shrubs. Discussions on preserving forests kept on going during the second half of the 1970s as a result of ongoing national and international concern. High-level forest officers seriously discussed the then deforestation during the 9th Forest Conference held in 1975. Increasing international concern about the deforestation and the recommendations of the 9th Forest Conference contributed to incorporating local people's participation in the Forest Plan of 1976 after 20 years of nationalized forest. Through the amendment made to the Forest Act in 1978, the Department of Forest adopted the policy of managing forests through local people. This policy played a significant role in the conceptualization of community forestry in Nepal. Many experts and forest officers then were active in finding out measures to preserve and manage local forests and Professor Tej Bahadur Singh Mahat is one of them. Following amendments to acts and laws and growing administrative activeness, international assistance began flowing into Nepal for the prevention of deforestation as well as for reforestation in the hills. However, the pace of deforestation remained unabated till the 1980s, despite accelerated reforestation and amendments to acts, laws and policies. 
सरकारले वृक्ष रोपण मात्रै गरे त भएन रेखदेख गर्न सकेन त सरकारले The causes for such unabated deforestation can be attributed to unclear policy on ownership, conservation and use of forests under people's participation. Meanwhile, the government commenced forest development master plan in association with Finland government in 1985. The Forest Development Master Plan attached high importance to community forestry and recognizes the organizational development of forest users. It was implemented in 1989. After the implementation of the master plan, the Forest Act of 1993 clearly defined the legal status of community forestry which recognizes users groups as independent organizations with rights to develop preserve use and manage forests on the basis of work plans This is the beginning of the history of community forestry in Nepal. Hamle pagar ko khani manche le pagar khan pare bietni le pani lara bietnu pare. Bietni chalan pare dherai hamro ban nash bhayeko cha inke. Testo garda kheri ni ban jangal ma sinda kheri pani pani abhav bhayo. Hamle khana pani dukha bhayo. Testo During this period, local people also gradually became aware of the dangers that deforestation could invite. The forest lands that were almost bare earlier because of unchecked clearing of forests, smuggling, unrestricted grazing, and wildfires. have step by step regained their verdure this is benikot community forestry group in tanahu district they go on regular patrolling one after another tara yo samudaya bana ban hamile chai ni nawa nawa na bhai yo ban tara jo le pani kaatyo hola a jo le pani jo pani ban ma khelnu paintyo aile ta hami phul dekhe ri gocha karne phul dekhe ri daura karne खुले खेल कारछान काटने खुले खेल बांध गोड़ने छिमाने कता राम बनाने कुछ राम बनाने हो सुरक्षित करने हो कुछ चाहिए अभी अर्क साल कुछ पलट में हमें अलग कारछान करने हो कुछ पलट में अभी आगुम करने हो तो हमें योग में चाहिए उगा छानबीन कर Rural people of all age groups and sub communities in Nepal are involved in community forestry. Organizations like the Federation of Community Forestry Users and Himavanti have national networks and are actively involved in creating awareness among forest users about conservation and management of forests and their rights to and responsibilities for community forests. Nowadays, the notion of forests are meant for us and our progeny and we should protect them has become the mantra of the people involved in community forestry elsewhere. Therefore, the government's move to delegate all authority and responsibility to the communities for the preservation, use and management of forests has been recognized as a radically reformist one and one worth emulating across the globe. Knowing the history and the achievements of community forestry made in recent years in this Himalayan kingdom, we become appreciative of those involved in the protection and management of forests. The success is harbinger of bright future. However, there lie serious internal challenges to the users groups despite the success the community forests have achieved in conservation. Disputes on boundary a tendency of seeking quick profit from big logs controlled by committees over users groups and delays in decision making about distribution and use of resources are some of the prominent problems
Some of these weaknesses are attributed to forest user group work plan and handover processes. Relatedly, the non-inclusion of all users in the handover process and users' low awareness of CF policy and user group rights and plans have also surfaced as predominant issues. The key underlying issue is that community forestry has not yet made consistent or clear achievements in terms of social justice. Many user groups are accused of ignoring the needs and rights of the marginalized people, including those of minority ethnic groups, low caste and the poorest of the poor. Likewise, in many groups, marginalized users, including women, have vented their strong dissatisfaction over the distribution of benefits of forests as it has failed to recognize their contribution and importance in the preservation of forests. आपनो तेरो मेरो न हुँदा हामी घाँस पनि ल्याउँथ्यौ दाउरा पनि ल्याउँथ्यौ एक आध भारी बेच्थ्यौ खान्थ्यौ अनि अब यो समेति लाग्यो मेरो पालामा लु भने पोर्दैन मैले पनि आखिर के बेजेती हुन जान्छ होइन किन बेजेती हुनु किन नाम लो डोरी पस्नु किन घोक्राइ मुन्टाइ गराउनु किन त्यो त्यसको जंगलमा नगए के हुन्छ नखाउँला चामल भए चामलै मुक्याउँला Ambika Nepali and her neighbors are not satisfied with the behavior of users. <laughs> If the marginalized users or sub-communities are not involved actively in community forestry, they are likely to lose their faith in it. Dr. Yam Malla who has been to Pandi village to see the users group after a gap of 14 years was not very happy with what was going on in the village. He had expected that the villagers would be actively involved in the utilization and management of their community forest as per its concept, but they were sitting idle due to the directive about forest inventory issued by the government. <laughs> तो जे तीती होना सके तो जस्ट तो मलाजे लाए ना है जस्ट तो मनो वो कुने केंद्र वाला जे उनका पत्र आए उनका फेरी जे वाले तिला जे शोधा जे स्वीकार्य रूप मान लेने है ना और आप जे वो एक कार्य योजना जे दूरी वर्ष से मचे नवी करन नव उनका फेरी बनी जे इसको प्रतिकार करना न सकनो पनी � the Sano Bon in Nala of Kavri Palanchuk district was handed over to the users of Pandi village in 1989. <laughs> If users' groups are denied autonomy in the management and use of forests, it cannot embody the spirit of community forestry, according to Dr. Malla. Here, the members of the users' groups are discussing what they could do now. The government directive on inventory issued two years back has prevented them from using their community forest. Because they cannot renew their operational plans without the inventory and they cannot officially use their forest until the OP is renewed. 
The district forest office of Kavre has informally asked the users to pay salary for a ranger if they wanted to carry out the survey. This would require at least 20,000 rupees, which they are not able to collect. <laughs> The inventory has become a common problem for all the users of community forests. Despite good intentions, the directive has prohibited users from use of community forest resources. Many foresters are of the opinion that the restriction imposed in the name of inventory is impractical and does not help in the development of community forestry. Chief of Community Forestry Division, Krishna Bahadur Shrestha, is also of the opinion that the government has enforced the inventory directive without considering its implementation challenges. Bhumi Raman Nepal has been actively involved in the preservation of forests since 1980. He came to know how deforestation had tormented the people of Dhading district as he widely visited the district during his employment in the district court. He used to hold discussions among the villagers to protect forests well before the implementation of the community forestry program. <laughs> हमरो जन अच्छा ले काफी मांगता से नदी नहीं अब इस अरे गोठालो नहीं जा बन्ने भागे रखा है र पढ़ मेरे छोरो डॉक्टर हो बनेर तो बावले बन्ना तो उसको छोरो तो होनी नेपाल को बन एकदम हरा भरा भाग कुछ तो नेपाल को संपत्ति तो होनी तरत्त संपत्ति का गोठाला को समर्थन भाग कुछ है भूमि रमन along with other users, used to request forest officials to hand over local forests to their respective users' groups. But the forest officials used to laugh at his proposal. Nowadays, Bhumi Raman has become skeptical of senior forest officials who are responsible for the development of community forestry as he visited the central offices of forests innumerable times. What he period you गाउँलेको नाममा बन हुँदैन अब अहिले आएर त्यही बेलाका कर्मचारीहरु त्यही बेलाका डीएफओहरु विभागमा हुनुहुन्छ यो सामुदायिक वनकै विषयमा कुरा गर्नुहुन्छ र उहाँहरुको मन चाहिँ कति परिवर्तन भयो होला म अन्धेलमा छु विदेशी सहयोग आउन्जेल मात्रै सामुदायिक सामुदायिक भनेर दौडिए पो हुन् कि Like other high-altitude snow-covered districts, firewood is the main fuel in Jumla. As you can see here, a large number of women walk to the forests to collect firewood every day. 
Women who witnessed deforestation due to uncontrolled collection of logs and firewood have formed an ad hoc users group to protect the forest from further destruction. Jungle bunu bina as boy shoke du 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 naam naam ba pothe da edi na oriyo sa kepi na na ita bitta bitta. Bunu shukka boy bunu pani aun na ina ani khana pai na ina bunu shukka boy bunu shalu shottar na boy ami jumla thau ru na ina. Adna wazar bhiya khacha li na river di na river lukai rakta ani gush khana. The deforestation motivated Margali Rawal, a local woman, to lead the local women in the campaign to save the forests. जंगल फिर हेर फेरी तैं बट अभी आई मेरे हमी उठ अब केटार को भर पड़ने भन आई मेर उठे खेल में आई मेर न एकदम पुलिस चोकटो ने पल्ल ढिल लैजा मन मंदन तेज को बच्चू नहीं हना but Magali and her colleagues are tired of visiting the district forest office and have almost become indifferent to protecting forests now as the forest office neither took action against those involved in clearing the forest nor handed over the diminishing forest to their group Madan Dev Kota Former chairman of Sri Ganesh Community Forest, Jumla, also has many complaints against the district forest office. One day, Nashi and Nashi, sir. Nashi and Nashi, sir. Our standards are not enough. Nothing is enough. Our Adhikar is enough. Niyam is enough. Costly paragon is enough. It is enough. Our bond cards are enough. Our bond of nirishan is enough. Our dalay paragu paragu is enough. It is enough. Just have a look at it. Purji dini ka matre. It's not the problem of Magali Rawal and Madan Devkota alone. Due to the non-transfer of forests, the people of the Tarai districts have even recourse to demonstrations and staging sit-down strike. Users of Srijana proposed community forest Udaipur district kept on preserving a local forest for many years. They prepared a statute of the community and continue to visit district forest office for the transfer of the ownership of the forest. Rent post ma amili mainu din dayu. Tis pasar amili ila ka bond karle ma. Borsa din dayu. Tis pasar amili amili ila kar jila bond karle ma. Tin borsa lagatar dhamda pani. Boli aja parsi aja. Uye din gardin tu gard din din gardin chu banda bandi pani. Amili is samarshan gar rahe ko bond jungle. Baata yu rukh lokale samar dekhiron baasa. Yu lokale ruiya chhe osarne kam bai. Ra amili virud gariyu. Yu janta le ruiya ka sam. Janta abli orar lokale. As stipulated in the Forest Act, they believed that a nearby forest would be handed over to them. But without informing them, the employees of the forest office fell trees of the proposed community forest. As a result, the villagers are now holding protest meetings at the premises of the range post office. At the beginning, the handover of community forests was successful and the government received both appreciation and assistance from donor agencies. And the users were encouraged to own nearby forests at the start. Encouraged by the success of pioneers and knowing the importance of owning community forests, many groups involved themselves in community forestry. And they struggled for many years to get those forests transferred to them. The government proposed to implement Operational Forest Management Plan OFMP in the Tarai districts in 1997 and it has not only created obstructions but also delayed the handover process. 
But the policy of transferring forests to communities on the basis of OFMP, ignoring their choice as mentioned in the master plan, has rendered users downhearted. Divakar Pathak, District Forest Officer Bake, also says that operational forest management plan is impractical. OFMP in 1972 map lai aadhar manera 1996 The delay in transferring forests to users groups has resulted the forest as open access resources and accelerated the rate of deforestation. Ram Kumari and her neighbors have been making ends meet by selling firewood. It is public knowledge that about 12,000 hectares of forest land in the Tarai have been encroached upon in name only of resolving the problem of landless people, which has been jeopardized by political interests. And the process of encroaching upon forests continues. A probe commission constituted some time back made it public that the Timber Corporation of Nepal, the sole authorized agent for the sale of timbers, has misused 3.4 million cubic feet of timber and thousands of cubic feet of logs are rotting. Local users People's representatives and rangers informally discussed the delay in handing over community forests in the premises of Maila Upakar Community Forest. कारण <laughs> माथि जाने कुर्सीमा बस्नेहरुले यो चाहिँ नि चाहिरहेका छैनन् यो जंगल हरियाली बनाउन चाहिरहेका छैन र उहाँलाई पनि हामीले गाली गर्ने हो उहाँले चाहिँ नि हामीलाई ल दिनी भनेर भन्दिए भने उहाँहरुले चाहिँ नि आफ्नो काम त गर्नु हुन्थ्यो होला जिल्लाको डीएफ साहेबले पनि सिग्नेचर गर्न ढिला भयो होला रिगार्डिङ द डिले इन ह्यान्डिङ ओभर कम्युनिटी फरेस्ट्स चेयरम्यान अफ भिलेज डेभलपमेन्ट कमिटी बासुदेव लमसाङ describes his view of the reason. सबै उदातिर दिन लाग्यो जंगल जति सबै उदाको उनीहरुले चाहे अब सरकारले चाहे भने पनि अब जनताले अब भोलि गएर सरकारले बन्ले ल तपाईको दुईटा रुख मलाई दिनुस् भने पनि म यहाँ त समुदायले त दिदैन दिदैन स्रोत त जम्मै जनता आदा गइसकेपछि यसरी चाहिँ चाडे गर्न हुँदो रहेछ भनेर हतारिए छम कि हामी भन्ने यसले एउटा उ पनि आयो कि त्यहाँ हतारैमा मैले अघि हुने कुनै कुनै चाहिँ आज यो ओएमपी ले गर्दा के ओएमपी मा चाहिँ प्रोडक्शन फरेस्ट सरकार एउटा व्यवस्थित बनमा चिन्नु लगाएको छ भने त्यस्ता वन जंगलहरु माग्न आएको छ अब त्यसो माग्न खेरि जिल्ला वनका दिन सक्दैन त्यो किन उलाई त अधिकार भएन उपभोक्ताले पाए पर्ने जंगलहरु पाएन भने नि त्यो जुन पहिलेको स्थिति थियो त्यो भन्दा अझै खतम हुँदै जाने छ जुन पहिले विभागले मन्त्रालयले जुन सोचले समुदायको जन्म दियो आखिर त्यो मात्र नरहेर त्यो भन्दा पनि खतम भएर जाने छ the current Forest Act states that forest officers shall hand over the specific parts of public forests to the users groups as community forests based on work plan. The users groups shall, as per working plan, protect, develop, use and manage forests and shall independently fix the prices of forest products and sell them as well, stipulates the Act.
Now let us see some examples that illustrate the problems. Chairman A. B. Thapa of Babukua Community Forest has taken initiative with the help of his villagers to preserve a local forest that was being destroyed rapidly. As a part of the forest protection, after Thapa involved himself in the community forest, he gave up raising goats along with other neighbors. Now, the Babukua community forest has become an object of pride for the district forest office, Bake. But it seems they fail to recognize the role of the users in this regard. This log also illustrates the impact of the government's restriction. The users are prohibited from sawing this log in a sawmill in Nepalganj to minimize the cost. The log was sold at 1,400 rupees, but it would cost 4,000 rupees to saw it here. Hence, it is decaying. <laughs> The Secretary of Gijara Community Forest has been closely watching the government's restrictive measures. The government's control over bank accounts is an example of misinterpretation of acts and laws governing community forestry. The Koidim community forest stretched across 528 hectares of land. In 1996, the Forest Users Group Committee decided to hew 14,000 cubic feet of timber. A dispute arose between the Users Committee and the Forest Administration at the time of selling the timber. As a result, District Forest Office withdrew the community forest from the users on the charge of clearing forest. We met both the users and the committee officials. After an interval of five years, due mainly to the Supreme Court ruling and Forest Department action, Koidim Community Forest has been returned to the users and the same committee officials are active now.
Some amendments have been made to the Forest Act 1993 on the basis of Koidin case in 1998. The amendment consists primarily in adding sub-clause on Article 27 of the Act, allowing DFO to directly take action against forest users which used to rest with the FUG Assembly. The amendment clearly indicates that the Ministry of Forest and Soil Conservation is not ready to accept the autonomy of community forest users groups and does not believe in the general assembly of the groups. These policy developments, including some amendments, new directives and interpretation of existing policy, have had some negative bearing on community forestry and communities themselves. This includes the development of some uncertainty in the relations between the users, the government and other forest stakeholders. In the year 2002, about 12,000 users groups got the right to protect manage and utilize forests that stretched across approximately 900,000 hectares of land. The government has planned to hand over a total of 3.56 million hectares of forest land which comes to 61% of the total forests to local forest users groups. To date, an estimated 20% of community forest has been handed over to users groups. The government faces many challenges to render community forestry a real success. In order to mitigate the challenges, the government will need to seek meaningful collaboration with all stakeholders as well as a flexible approach in policy development and implementation. In this way, community forestry may build on its achievement of the conservation of many local forests and the growing sense of awareness among the people for their rights to contribute to the livelihoods of the diverse rural people of Nepal.